Arts Festival was first staged in 2002. The idea was to create a festival by the community for the community, to celebrate our diverse and creative Cholton community. Cholton High School was at the heart of this back in 2002, and every year since in May, it has staged its own week-long festival with a series of events to enable children from across Cholton and South Manchester to embrace theatre, visual arts, music and dance. However, as the last few months have unfolded, it became clear that our own Blue Box Theatre would need to follow the West End and remain dark for the month of May. But surely, the show must go on. So the amazing staff and students at Cholton High have responded with their usual creativity to overcome the challenges of this lockdown and stage our very first virtual Cholton Arts Festival. This year we will rock the lockdown. Hi guys, happy Mondays. I hope you all had a good week last week and hopefully we'll have a great one uh, this week. Well done for all the fantastic work that you've been doing. It really is good. Don't forget to share it using the hashtag Cholton High Proud on Instagram or Twitter or share it with us using proud at choltonhigh.org.uk um, if you want to share that work. Uh, we really, really want to see it. But actually today what I wanted to uh, ask you to do was to do something a little bit different. Now you've been getting loads of praise and rightly so for all the work you've been doing at home but it's about time I think and hopefully you do too that the members of staff at school get a bit of um, recognition for all the brilliant work that they've been doing behind the scenes so Wednesday is National Thank a Teacher Day but I don't really like that phrase we don't at school it's National Th uh, Thank a Member of Staff Day for us um, so we've set you a little quick uh, form on Microsoft Teams on your year page it, we've posted it to you. All you've got to do is click on that link, choose the department that you would like to thank. Uh, if you want to thank a specific um, member of staff, then do that. That's amazing. Type it into the box, click save, click send, job's done. It'll take you a maximum of two minutes. It would be brilliant if we could get as many reverse rewards as possible. Reverse re rewards has gone online, people. Let's make it happen. Have a good week. Hi, all. Hope you're okay. Um, I wanted to share with you a little project that I've been doing, um, which will be a planter. Now it looks rubbish at the moment because I abandoned it and it sat like that for two weeks because I realised that I couldn't saw in a straight line. Um, I was getting very frustrated with it. However, this week is a new week and I'm going to get back on that. I'm going to paint it, I'm going to fill it with flowers or veg, I don't know yet. Um, one of the things that's really helped me during this lockdown is um, me and my family have a little WhatsApp group and following different categories we all put our, a different song choice on and even though we're so far apart it's been really lovely just to communicate through music. Um, the other thing that's helped me is a little WhatsApp group with our pastoral and heads of years in. Um, it's work related, we put daft things on, we put funny things on, but most importantly, um, we support and encourage each other because like you, we also find it quite hard at times to work from home. So I wanted to say thank you to those people. And if you haven't already got a WhatsApp group with either your friends or your family, I really advise that you get one because it's a really lovely way of communicating with each other. Particularly if you're feeling a little bit down or you just need a little pick me up, just knowing that there's people there through you know, media, um, it's a really lovely thing to do. Um, take care, hope to see you soon, bye. Hi Year 7s, how you doing? I hope you are doing really well. After having some conversations last week, I noticed that some of you are getting a little bit demotivated I'm probably feeling a little bit down on times and I'm just here to let you guys know that that's okay. Um, I also have my good days and my bad days and sometimes I really struggle and it just dawned on me that we've actually now been on lockdown for longer than our longest holiday in our school year which is six weeks and I think that's what's probably helping make us feel the way that we do because we're starting to really miss school and miss being around our friends and our teachers so I just want you guys to know that it's okay if you're having a bad day um, but at the same time I want you to realize that even though you are 
the, the next day is another day we start the day again and hopefully then you can find something that you can find some joy in during that day because it's really important that we do that I want you to try and find something you really enjoy even at home and really really do that every day if you possibly can no matter what it is no matter how small the thing that I've been trying to do the most is laugh I try to make sure that I laugh every day not all day every day but every day, whether that's when I'm around my family, when I'm speaking to my friends or our colleagues, I try to make sure that I find something to laugh about every day. And it really does help to help get through the day. Sometimes I'm laughing at myself because I can tend to do things silly. Not intentionally, but I do sometimes do some things that are really silly. So please, guys, even though you are working, we want you to find a balance while you're at home. We want you to make sure that you're able to find something that you really enjoy and you really have some fun as well. So can we make sure we're doing that and take care of yourselves, okay? I'll speak to you all soon. Bye. Hi, Year 8. Ozzy here. Hope you're all all right. Just coming on to say hello um, and to just let you know that I'm super proud of you all. You're all doing absolutely amazingly. This week... I want you to really focus on being kind to yourself. Last week was a bit tough for me. I really missed some of my friends and family, especially my daughter who moved out about a week before lockdown. So I haven't seen her since then. I haven't seen a new flat and it's been, it was tough, it was tough. But this week's a new week and I'm really gonna focus on being kind to myself. So that's what I want you to do. So if you're feeling a bit fed up, a bit down in the dumps, that's absolutely normal, it'll pass. But please just be kind to yourself, do something that you really love. Chat to your friends, go out for a walk or a bike ride, play your favourite computer game, whatever it is that brings you a little bit of joy, make sure you do that this week. Cheers. Bye. Hi guys, it's Mrs Wilson. Um, I just wanted to pop on and just say, you know, things are really strange at the minute. Um, don't know about you, but sometimes I have really positive days. I have really productive days where I get lots of things done. Other days, quite negative and nothing really gets done at all. Um, I also have lots of in-between days where I don't really feel positive, don't really feel negative. I'm not really sure how I feel. Um, and I've come to realise that actually that's okay. Um, and one of the things or a couple of things that's really important to me and helped me through is just chatting to my friends and family on a daily basis, um, video calling them, messaging them. And actually my parents gave me a really good bit of advice this week that I wanted to share. And uh, cause I think it's really important and not just now, but in general. So they said, face every problem with a smile and a positive attitude. It might not change your problem, but it can change how you get through it. And I just wanted to share something that we've done in my house um, since hearing that really. Uh, so what we do is uh, we share a positive moment at bedtime. So we look for the positives in the day and it's become a bit of a habit and we encourage each other to look for the positives in the day and we share that moment at night time and it's really, really nice. Um, so I want you to try and do that this week if you can. Um, anyway, I'm really, really proud of you and I really hope I see you all soon because we're really missing you lots. Take Hello, care. Hello, Year 9. Lovely catching up with you again. Um, we had some great conversations last week checking on routines, quite informative. Tell me all about your routine and all about your hobbies. Now, some of you are a bit low, missing your friends, missing the school day and the routine. Now, I miss it also. A lot of us are feeling a bit down about it, but you know what? We have to cheer ourselves up because for a long while now, this is going to be the norm. So I'd like to share with you something that keeps me going. And it's actually funny stories from the past. Now I'm going to share one with you because my daughter and I were laughing about it yesterday. They'll laugh at anything silly that I do because I'm a glutton for punishment and never learn. So here we go. It's my grandson's sports day. He was probably about year five and he's always said, Nana, will you run on my sports day? Because I always go and watch. And I said, oh, of course I will. I'm daft enough to do that sort of thing. So this particular year, my daughter reminded me that I did say I was going to run when I tried to chicken out of it. So I got there, other family members decided they were gonna come along as well because one of my sons always runs. So um, I thought, right, let's go. They were flexing their muscles, bragging a little bit. I tried to keep quiet, I was all excited at first. And as he got nearer to it, I thought, right, Sandra, you can't do this, you're a nana. But I was egged on, so I went along with it. When it was time for the races, we all got ready. It was the males first. So my sons got ready to run. 
and then the starter whatever it was i don't think it was a pistol went off um one went running the other one tumbled got up again tumbled again so i started laughing all of us were in stitches laughing at him laughing what happened there you're all excited flexing your muscles showing off saying you're going to run so left that my turn started looking around feeling a bit threatened but there was a little girl there and i thought well i'm not going to win anybody else but i can always run wrong with this little girl because she was a bit frightened i said we'll hold hands good job she didn't hold me to it whatever thing went off down i saw the ground and then i saw the sky my daughter came back looking for me and then she rolled her eyes as i was laying there laughing so i eventually got up and then pulled myself together again still laughing probably part of it was embarrassment. Walking down, somebody came with a wheelchair, lovely lady. She said, you can go in the wheelchair so you're not embarrassed. And I blatantly said, ah, oh, it don't matter. I don't get embarrassed easily. The long walk down there was the longest of my life. And then I thought, I've got past it. Nobody's looking at me because people probably didn't see it. Only to see my sister killing herself laughing. She played it all back. Good job, they couldn't see me. But what they could do is hear somebody say, where's your sister? My sister's chuckling, pictures taken of her feet. She's laughing that much. She couldn't even film it anymore, saying she's falling. <laughs> so then we got away with that one and it was embarrassing. So just to make sure that I wasn't going to live with this embarrassment and go in hiding, I then went off to school to pick up my grandson. And people who didn't stay said, how did it go? because they were waiting for me to run as well, and they had to get off. So I said, well, I fell, and we thought that was the end of that. But And it really was, until my kids keep reminding me, but I wore these bright pink trainers, and after that, I could not wear those trainers again. So I suppose what I'm trying to say is, there's always something to laugh about, and if you can laugh, it can make you happy, it can make any situation, bad situation, seem like nothing. And one thing, never hide away from any embarrassment because you'll probably be embarrassed for the rest of your life. And if I kept those pink trainers, I would be embarrassed every time I saw it. All I had was a little bit of pain afterwards. Ah, oh, and one of the things that happened, Miles came to me and I said, oh, Miles, are you OK? He said, oh, my friend says, Miles, your grandma's fallen down. That was embarrassing. But I thought they were laughing. He says, no, they were really concerned. But I know later on, probably when he's in a, probably a teenager, later on his friends will say, oh, remember that time we were at school and your nana fell down at sports day? Well, don't know where I'm going with this, but I hope you've enjoyed it. Lots of love. See you soon.